about a few activation functions in artificial neural networks okay as i've already said that activation functions are very important in changing the you know the linear uh, nature of uh, into a you know non-linear nature so that the output of the, um, the neural network can can um, approximate any complex uh, mapping between the input and the output uh, so uh, so activation from there we have already uh, we have just seen the sigmoid uh, activation function but there are many other types of activation function which kind of this uh, objective of this lecture is to kind of introduce you with the names and the styles or the structures and you can you know dig uh, dig up more detail as per your requirement so you see here the uh, activation function must be monotonic and differentiable okay monotonic means uh, you know it's uh, if it's it, it kind of maintains the order you know it's uh, uh, it doesn't change suddenly or uh, like that and uh, it uh, the first order differential should not change the sign okay it should not be it should maintain the order if it's increasing order increasing decreasing order decreasing just following that but it's a random sine curve or something like that then this is not monotonic okay so monotonic is something like let's say this this function is monotonic uh, this is also monotonic if it's going down that's fine but uh, it's not sine curve or something like that so monotonic and differentiable so there are some existing function identity function which is a linear function let's uh, let's uh, not talk too much into the detail about that binary step function which you are also aware of is step function uh, logistic function we have already seen logistic function is also called the sigmoid function and this kind of gives out a probability right zero to one within that range it, uh, it outputs a probability so function of x one over one plus e to the power minus x you know that e is the Euler's constant so it's an exponential function and uh, <clears throat> so here you see it uh, kind of takes a scalar value right so tan h function is also a sigmoid style like s shaped curve tan h function tan hyperbolic tan function is also a uh, similar kind of function and uh, like sigmoid function but this is kind of more pronounced more prominent it varies from minus one to one like this is varying from zero to one this is varying from minus one to one uh, logistic function and tan h function both are mostly used for binary classification and um, and one thing is important that this, they they uh, are more computation intensive okay they are computation intensive and they suffer due to vanishing gradient problem if you remember uh, when we do back propagation we have to take partial derivatives and you know it's a, uh, using a chain rule so there are multiple partial derivatives so when the when the value of the partial derivatives the outcome of the partial derivatives are very small when you multiply them the the, the gradient uh, with respect to you know some uh, particular weight becomes so small that you know that is kind of negligible so that's called a vanishing gradient problem i encourage you to look uh, into more about this vanishing gradient problem uh, so uh, there's another function it's the arc tan function but i want to talk about the rectified linear image or relu function which is a which is a very important and very hugely used function and also there is one it's a little bit of variation parameter parametric relu so the uh, this uh, expression which i have given it's it's a little bit kind of combined uh, one so you can see the relu function how the graph of a relu function looks so it says uh, it's a it's a max of zero to x so if x is positive then f of x equal to x okay but if x is negative that is below zero x is basically uh, basically zero okay so this is uh, this is uh, that is for any negative values negative uh, input the it will immediately turn it into a uh, into a zero and that is not actually good so you kind of uh, you know lose uh, many many input values and uh, so to to kind of cope with it so there is a, a, a you know kind of a variation of that so that this line below zero doesn't become zero so uh, so it's called leaky ReLU. so this uh, says that okay if it's a positive uh, uh, value of x then f of x is fine same as ReLU. but if it's negative then instead of making it zero make it a very small number like 0 0.01 times x okay so this fixes the problem of ReLU, and um, so uh, this is uh, this is a better one. So most of the time in um, in so you see this 0.1x is this this is basically this alpha. Okay, if alpha is uh, you know 
uh, is uh, zero, then you get if x less than zero, this is zero. But uh, for this case, alpha is not zero, but just uh, barely above, like 0 0.01. Uh, sorry, 0 0.1. Now uh, uh, we want to say that the sigmoid uh, sigmoid function, um, you know, this uh, in the hidden layers in a neural network, we prefer not to use sigmoid function, but to use ReLU and leaky ReLU. Uh, so if you do not have too many negative values, you can go for ReLU, but if you have more negative values, uh, it's preferable to go for leaky ReLU. And um, we want to tell that uh, this they, are, they have less computation involved than the sigmoid on the tan h function. So this, uh, these are very uh, basically simple mathematical operations. You can see instead of calculating the exponential functions, right? So um, they, they kind of increase the computational uh, efficiency and also avoids the, the vanishing gradient problem, okay? So they are very, very popular, uh, ReLU and leaky ReLU. Um, we need to, um, I mean, you need to understand this exponential linear unit LU function is, uh, you know, adding a, a alpha with that. And uh, it's also uh, similar to the, uh, you know, the, so although they are called linear function, please understand they are not really producing linear outcome, okay? This is still uh, helping the neural network to produce nonlinear uh, mapping, uh, although they are called uh, linear units, okay? So another important function is a softmax function. Okay, softmax is a, is a special type of uh, activation function. This is uh, only used in the last layer or the output layer of the neural network. Okay, so what does it do? It converts real values into probabilities. Let's and this is mostly used like um, the you know logistic function. They are used for binary classification. Softmax is mostly used for multi-class classification, and they are kind of a variation of the sigmoid function. It's a variation of the sigmoid function. You can see uh, that um, you know the if the sigmoid function, uh, I mean, the, for a two uh, binary classification, the this is this is similar to this equation actually. If you multiply or above and below by e to the power x, you will find this will be converted to this. Okay. So uh, what is the what does softmax does? Softmax does that. Let's say if this is a neural network and these are the uh, out uh, outcome layers and these are the uh, you know the output numbers uh, in the, um, so what it does it converts them into exponential okay e to the power that number okay if that is x e to the power x for all of them and then it kind of takes a you know kind of an average uh, of that so it's a normalizer so e to the power 3.2 divide by all this e to the power values and that gets 0 0.775 so that's actually the probability but this is like a probability distribution, okay? That means all these probabilities, if you add up, they will become one, okay? So that's why we say that um, considers higher probability as the actual output. So that means it's converting these real numbers into a probability. And now, whichever be the highest probability, that will be the, and that will be the uh, final outcome of the neural network. And uh, so considers higher probability as the actual output, normalize the output to a probability distribution over predicted output classes okay like i said so it converts and uh, and then normalizes the probability to a probability distribution so that all the probabilities you add up into one so there is a one problem here you see that it's kind of because it's an exponential function it kind of magnifies these numbers if someone is this is 3.2 uh, so then other all numbers will you are combining to see the remaining uh, 0 0.235 uh, or something like that. So, um, and this one is magnified, whichever is the bigger is being magnified. So it's not necessarily the neural network, whatever be the output is, you know, uh, so much, uh, I mean, in reality, there could have been more uncertainty. So it, it could have been more uncertainty than the softmax function is actually showing. So this could give the impression that the neural network prediction has a high confidence. Uh, in this one, but it's not necessarily the case. The others are not completely, you know, ignorable or something like that. So you have to understand that that softmax kind of overly projects because there's an exponential function, and you can see that uh, again this function can be converted into this function uh, if there is, a, you know, um, only binary classification. So this is good for uh, multi-class classification. So this is um, uh, takes vectors as input, okay? So this is important. So softmax uh, can take vectors as input instead of the logistic function, which takes a scalar as input. And uh, it's, a, it's basically a generalized logistic function. 
and uh, you know that uh, this is a like a softer version of the argmax function there is a argmax function also which is another activation function which what does it do whichever uh, if if it gets get this kind of uh, you know uh, vector numbers real numbers it converts them in such a way that the this one will become one whichever be the highest and rest will be zero so this is like a kind of one zero kind of solution so maximum which one whichever be the argument that will be projected rest will be suppressed but this is a softer version it gives weights to others but when you normalize them their probability uh, becomes very low so that the total uh, add up to one okay so this is a soft max and uh, this also that's why it's called soft arg max it has a softer version of the arg max i have not separately written arg max here but these are the popular uh, you know um, uh, activation functions in the neural network and we need to uh, use them as i said relu and leaky relu are mostly used for the hidden layers um, and softmax is used uh, for the output layer and uh, depending on the nature or necessity we can use other functions as and when required